Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that 5-minute timer and talk about the last, most complicated, and most common type of minor, melodic minor. So we're going to write a melodic minor scale up here at the top, but first I'm going to add another clef on this bottom staff, and we're going to review natural minor, then harmonic minor, and then we'll get into the melodic minor. So I'm going to write an A minor scale, A natural minor, and I'm going to write it going up and down, the ascending and descending versions of this scale. A minor has no sharps and no flats, and I'm sorry that last A is right, right underneath my logo, uh, but uh, you'll know that there's an A there. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and then all the way back down creates an A natural minor scale. To turn this into harmonic minor, remember we add a leading tone, so we raise that seventh scale degree, and it turns into a G sharp, and then we have an, a harmonic minor scale. Now, the reason I wrote this going up and down is because melodic minor is the only scale that we ever run across that's different when it's ascending versus descending. So I'm going to write... The ascending and descending version of the natural minor, and then I'll show you the differences between the melodic and natural. So what we need to do is find the sixth and seventh scale degrees, and we need to raise them, raised by half step when ascending. So the ascending portion of the scale is the part that's going up, descending is going down. We find the sixth and seventh scale degrees. Here's one, two, three. Four, and then I'm going to have to borrow some space from up here. Five. Here's six, and here's seven before we start repeating back to one. So the sixth and seventh scale degrees in this scale are F and G. To raise them by a half step, since they're naturals, we turn them into sharps, F sharp, and G sharp. And then on the way down, six and seven are back to the natural minor on the way back down. So whatever they are in natural minor is the descending portion. Now because I wrote a G sharp earlier, I'm going to cancel that G sharp out by putting a natural. So on the way down it's a G natural and then it's an F natural as well. And then the rest of the scale is exactly the same. The only thing that changes is that top portion of the scale. Now we'll get into a little bit later why this happens and it's actually slightly more complicated than just ascending and descending. But when we're first introducing it, it's a kind of an easy way to conceptualize what's going on here. So we have that 6, 7, 1 raised on the way up, and then it's back to natural minor on the way down. Notice that the natural minor and the melodic minor descending portions are exactly the same. So let's take a listen. Let's actually listen to all three types. So first, here's natural minor. So this is the original natural minor. <laughs> And then we're going to add that leading tone to turn it into harmonic minor. There we go. And then the melodic minor, the one that's different on the way up than it is on the way down. So you can hear on the way up, here's the raised notes, then back down to the natural minor like that. There's our home base. So melodic minor, just to summarize very quickly, is different on the way up than it is on the way down. So when going up, you take the sixth and seventh scale degrees, you bump them up by a half step. Again, that doesn't always mean sharp. It just means that we're raising them by a half step, whichever accidental is appropriate to do that. And then on the way back down, you return them to their natural uh, positions to create a natural minor scale on the way down. This is the only scale that we're going to run across that's different on the way up than it is on the way down. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, this is also the most common type of minor. So it's really important that we understand how it works and we're able to recognize it and construct it. That's it. Melodic minor. Thank you.